welcome to the day's video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and I'm the owner of Malaya Stitches and Jocelyn's Comfy Apparel. These are both Etsy shops and in this channel we do all things embroidery, some sewing, some uh, sublimation, some bleaching, HTV, just anything basically to run a t-shirt shop. So, and a kid's custom uh, birthday outfit shop. So in today's video we are going to sew a ribbon, rainbow ribbon trim tutu. And for my tutus, I use six colors. So I have a lavender, a light pink, a maize yellow, a mint green, a peach, and a light blue. These are the colors that I use. Um, for my tutus, the size um, zero to 2T, I will cut a yard and a half of each of these on anything 3T and up. I will cut two yards of each of these just so you know and then the length of the T2 will depend on the size so I will put all that information down below how long I make each size of my tutus just so you guys have that information and then I'll also put how long I um, cut my elastic waistband so you guys have all that information but um, let's head over to the cutting area and cut all of our colors out Here I'm rolling up each piece as evenly as possible. We're going to stack them up together to cut the length. Here I'm going to cut one side to even everything up, then I'll slide it over on my cutting mat and measure the length I need. All of that will be in the description below, and there you have it. You are now ready to sew. I'm going to show you this rack that my husband made me for Valentine's Day. We got the idea from... Cassandra Kashi's Custom Designs and um, she has one of these in her uh, studio and I saw it in one of her videos and I was like ooh that will help make our um, make the process of sewing the tutus much faster 
and it sure does so basically you just put your ribbon on the dowel rods and it just rolls um, while you're sewing so you don't have to stop and pull the ribbon loosen the ribbon or you don't have the ribbon twisting up or anything like that so it's super helpful I love it but I wanted to show you that before we got started sewing okay we're gonna get sewing so on my tutus I um, sew them as a double ribbon trim so I'll sew down one end of the tool with ribbon and then I flip it over then I'll sew down the other end of ribbon or with the other end of the tool with ribbon and then we'll fold it in half and make the channel um, you're gonna do the same thing on every piece so behind you is my new little stand for my ribbon and I take the ribbon here heat seal the end and I like to tuck it underneath my leg so that when it's coming up to the machine it's coming up at it straight on whereas if I didn't do that it would be coming up to it at an angle like this and it'd be harder to control so I tuck it underneath my leg my leg kind of is like a like a little guide and then um, put it under the machine when you're layering your pieces your ribbons gonna go down first then your tool goes on top um, my settings are my tension is set at a two you want it real light tension and then my stitch length is 3.5 and I'm just gonna do a straight stitch and so I also have a box underneath my table whoops sorry get it all situated here have all, everything I have a box underneath the table here and that just catches the tool so it doesn't hit the floor and get all dirty take our tool and I don't know if you can tell with this color but there are two layers you want both layers together and slide it underneath your presser foot um, the best that you can you want your ribbon to follow along the outside of your presser foot and your edge of your tool to follow along the inside doesn't have to be perfect but the best that you can best thing about making tutus is there's so much room for error and people won't even notice so you're gonna start off with a back stitch and just sew all the way down the one side got you on the ribbon now so I gotta move you just a little bit there we go you get close to the end you're gonna take some scissors and cut at the end of your tool then I just kind of move my tool up out of the way and then I heat seal this end lay the rest of the ribbon on top of my leg so it doesn't fall down Down the end, a back stitch at the end, 
Now you have the ribbon all the way down one end. Now you're going to take your whole piece and flip it over. So now that this ribbon on the, this side is now facing up and the tool is underneath, you want it to be like that. And I'm going to put the tool piece back down into the box so that I'm back up at the top. I want to place my ribbon down and you can heat seal the end of this. There you go. Put the strings in the way. Ribbon down. Make sure your tool's even, your layers are even, best you can. And this part, if your layers are not exactly lined up, that is okay. Your main goal is to make sure the ends, this layers are not bubbled up, that they are flat and straight up against each other in the center. If they are bubbled up, you'll have issues making your channel. So your most important, what is most important is to make sure that the layers are laying flat together in the center. The end edges, if they're not lined up, that is okay. And 99.9% .9 of the time, they are not lined up. So we are just going to do the same thing on this side, making sure that this side of your tutu, the ribbon is facing up. tool out of the way. You don't want to catch your tool on fire because it will burn quickly. Heat seal the end of that. And back stitch at the end. Now you are done sewing on the ribbon. So with the side on your left, ribbon still sticking up and the side on your right, ribbon facing down. You're gonna put the tool back underneath into the box if you use a box. If not, whatever you're using, just cleaning up these threads. Okay, so now you're going to take your uh, piece and fold it in half, like so leaving just leaving some on the bottom not completely folding it in half kind of offsetting them enough so you can see both layers of the ribbon um, i just like to make sure that the stitching on the bottom layer is covered by the ribbon on the top and you're going to put that into your sewing machine and then make sure you leave uh, make make sure your channel is at least an inch wide so we're going to start back stitching this channel is where your elastic is going to go through so you need to make sure it's at least wide enough for your elastic to go in I use 3 4 inch non-roll elastics, so if I make my channel about an inch wide, there's plenty of room for the elastic to slide through. So, just going to sew down. Your tool will start to bubble up. I don't know if you can see that, but it will bubble up. That's okay just kind of force that underneath your presser foot all that is is your layers kind of shifting a little bit from the feed dogs underneath and the presser foot on top and you're just going to keep lining up your ribbon at the bottom
in the back stitch to secure it. And then you are all finished with that piece. Just clean up your threads. And there is one layer. You're going to do the exact same thing to all six colors. And once that is done, or once I finish that, I will come back and show you how to thread the elastic through. I need. This is a 4T, so I'm going to cut 19 inch piece. And then I'm going to take my bobkin, got this off Amazon, and a safety pin. On one end of the elastic, I'm going to put the safety pin across so that nothing can slide off this end then we're going to put the bobkin on the other end and this is what we're going to use to feed it through so we're going to take our channel and we're going to make sure we go through both layers of tulle so we're right in the center we're just going to 
start beating this on. And I should have started with the yellow. Let me put the yellow one on first. I'm going to do that. You want to put it in order, the colors in order of the rainbow. So here I'm going to do yellow, then green, then blue, then purple, then pink, then orange. to the end and you'll see here why chain piecing your pieces together in the in the order uh, of the colors works really well because you can just continually feed this on without have, really having to stop For each color and then this also makes sure that you're feeding each color on in the same direction so like example here I fed the yellow on where the ribbon the front side of the ribbon is facing me and same with the green and because you chain pieced all of these and sewed them all the same direction that's not something you have to think about. It's already done for you. You don't have to make sure all the pieces are facing the same direction. So here, the green, and now the blue is facing towards me. So you don't have to. If you do them individually, you'll have to make sure The ribbon is facing the same direction on all pieces when you put them on here. So again, you're just making sure you put them through the bobkin through both layers. Once you do that, it just slides right on. And you don't have to think about which way the ribbon's going because you sew them all the same direction, so it's all facing the same way. Hope that makes sense. Just do this real quick. To the next color. Just going to make sure that bobkin goes through both layers and keep on going. Sometimes it gets caught on that. That's okay. Just pull it through. You're not going to hurt it. You can be rough. It's not going to break it. I have a lot of trouble with this orange color. It's just really, really flimsy and kind of thin. And I've tried different brands and they all seem to be the same. Okay, now that you have this all strung on, you're going to take your bobkin off, take your safety pin off, kind of overlap your elastic making sure that it's not twisted on the inside of your tool. Make sure that it's all going one direction. Overlap this about an inch. Take to your sewing machine, change your, your tension to like eight or nine. And then you're just gonna go back and forth to secure this together. too many things in the way. Gotta move you a little bit. Press it back. So 
I'm going to go back and forth on this side and back and forth on this side to secure it. is evenly spread across the elastic. Just slide it around. We got strings sticking out. Go ahead and put those on. complete. Just like any other tutu, you're going to hot glue or you can sew the ends together of each color like so. If you're going to sew it, you're going to put right sides together and sew on the wrong side. If you're going to hot glue it, you're going to put hot glue on the right side and put right sides together so that it makes a nice seam. You'll do that on each color like so and if you want to attach a ribbon um, I usually put a ribbon over the area where I sewed the elastic together so it kind of hides that um, you don't have to put a ribbon on that's personal preference but once you have all of that done you can either hand sew the ribbon on I hot glue mine on because I can't sew hand sew very well not very good at that so I hot glue them on. I've not had anybody complain that it has fallen off or that, you know, it looks bad or anything like that. So, um, no complaints on having the ribbon hot glued. But once you have all those pieces together and hot glued, you can go around like I do showed in previous tutu videos and just make sure your ribbon and it is lined up nicely and the loops are even and then once you have all of that done you are finished so um, I will show the finished uh, product once I have it all done but I have several other tutus to sew so I'm going to do that first so that I could do all of that um, do the same thing on each tutu at the same time so I'm not going back and forth so that is that I will put the final product here at the end so thank you guys so so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next video bye